Hello everyone, Morpheus here. So yeah, let me tell you guys what happened with my last video, okay, really quick. <laughs> so, uh, in, I was coming to the end of recording a session and as I got to the end, my, my computer started telling me that I was running out of disk space. And I'm like, how in the world is that possible? I have like a terabyte of, of space on here. Well, the capture card that I use, every time I record a video, um, it saves an MP4 file copy of that video onto my hard drive, which makes sense. I, and I should have known that, but it, Did I, it know didn't occur to Detroit me. Detroit was on the Underground Railroad, a route for slaves escaping into Canada during the American Civil War. Actually, I did know that. Um, and I would appreciate if you didn't interrupt me, please. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so um, apparently like all the videos that I had recorded were all being stored on my hard drive and eventually I ran out of room. So it abruptly stopped my, um, my recording session. So I had to go back and clean it up and do some other stuff. So um, yeah, so there, there may be some missing parts, but if there are, I'll catch you guys up. Um, but for now, we're going to jump right back into it and hopefully try to pick up where we left off. Uh, but we'll see. All right, let's go. So we've opened up all of these, uh, these dialogues. Um, let's try to speak to those that uh, may encourage a better relationship with him. Let's start with, uh, with his dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Please. Sumo. I call him Sumo. Yeah, man, just ask him. <laughs> just ask him. Uh, let's see. Uh, which was another we could ask him about? How about uh, music? Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. <laughs> he thinks he's a true weirdo. <laughs> uh, let's see. Should we ask about the anti-anti? We can go with the basketball. Uh, let's try that. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Uh, oops. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, we rudely interrupted the dude. <laughs> All right, let me, let me, uh, well, let me ask about Fowler, too. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. All right, let's, uh, let's, I don't want to ask him about the anti-Android thing. That may open up a can of worms, too. Um, oh, but this, I don't know. Let's, let's try it. Let's see what happens. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. would be okay well we're kind of i guess we're kind of neutral at uh uh at our interaction with him at this point uh, let's just start working if you have any files on deviants i'd like to take a look at them terminals on your desk knock yourself out okay let's access all right uh, first case, uh, victim Gordon Lopez, uh, signed to Lieutenant Anderson. His case is open, involving an Andrew. Yes, that's me. The plaintiff reports that he left his Android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the Android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break in uh, in the apartment. The Android may have left the home without being ordered to. Okay. Uh, this is an attack case. Uh, victim Charles Bell. Uh, it's also assigned to us. Uh, this is a suspect. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by a, I wonder if that should be N, by N, AV500 number 23477, 
7821 model android working as a waiter in the fast coney dogs restaurant chain situated at 842 chamberlain avenue the plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene the android remains at large all right another attack case uh her name is sarah cornwall uh also uh assigned to us man we got three cases already oh Wow, the plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her Android in AP700, number 4893802 model. The Android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Hold on, let's go back. It's an AP500, AP700, okay. I don't know that there's any, there's two different, what about the first one? It's an AL series, AV series, AP series. All right, a disappearance. Uh, victim, Floyd Mills. Uh, the plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club, reported the unexplained disappearance of a sex android. Model WR400, number 641790831. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. It says we can scan all files. Is there any more? Hmm. Attempted murder. Leo, Ma what? So this is about Marcus. Famous painter Carl Manfred was di found dead in his home following an altercation between his android and his son. The latter's witness statement attests to the android behaving violently, which is a lie. We know that's a lie. At least in our story, that was a lie. Uh, the android is thought to be a prototype, unknown model and serial number, and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. Well, we thought he was destroyed, but uh, good old Marcus, boy, he put himself back together and, well, he's making his way somewhere. And, oh man, uh, this is Kara, uh, Todd Williams, well, yes. The victim's body was found by a friend who came by to say hello. He immediately called the emergency service at 842, who recorded death by gunshot wound. The murder weapon may have belonged to the victim. His android, an AX400, was not found on the scene and is the main suspect. All right, let's scan all these files. Well, of course, as he got that lightning, lightning mine. Files. To what? This dates back nine months. Yikes. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. He is so uninterested. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's be professional. No, we're going to be direct. You shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just... Run your program and shut the fuck up. I'm not going to resign. I'm determined, man. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are going to get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant, I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. I mean, I, I, I understand. Hmm. Okay, see, so here, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So, I mean, I, I get, you know, we're trying to be understanding with the guy, you know, and maybe I probably should have been a little bit more understanding, to be honest. And here's why. So we, we at this point, we don't know a lot about Hank. We don't know, like, how an android in his life may have impacted him. Um, maybe he had a negative experience with one. Uh, and it's kind of caused him to look negatively on all androids now. Um, which, you know, on, as on another topic, before we continue on, that could be something that we look at in today's society as well, is that, you know, sometimes, you know, people, uh, offend us and we 
we carry that offense and others end up paying for the, you know, for the actions or mistakes of another, you know, so uh, oftentimes the way to kind of break through that is trying to be compassionate, trying to be understanding and, and most importantly, be patient. But anyway, um, so I think going forward from here, uh, I'm trying to, I'm going to try to be a little bit more um, patient, uh, compassionate, understanding with Hank, uh, hopefully to create a relationship with him that maybe at some point uh, we can work in a trusted working relationship. So we'll see, but we're moving on. Let's see what's next. I'm also curious, guys, what, what would you have done in Alice's situation? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Would you have made the choice that I made or would you have uh, held up the convenience store or taken the clothes? What would you have done? I'd love to know. I don't, I don't know that that's such a good idea. You don't want her to wake up and you're not there. It's still raining. I just realized that. Okay, explore the area, check the neighborhood. We're doing all this while she's asleep? All right, well, let's, let's start here. Need to need to the force the trunk open. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Let's look over here. Death to androids. Great. Is that, is that one back there? It sure is. Well, I'm I'm sorry, but that's I'm learning. That's becoming to be more and more of a reality here. Uh, not everybody's excited about the whole Android thing. Okay, we can use this to Jimmy open the trunk. Hopefully something useful, maybe? A jacket, okay. Well, that, def that will help to disguise her a little bit better. Okay, found human clothes. Now we need to cut our hair. Uh, let's uh, take a look around a little bit more. Let's look over here. Wow, how convenient. How convenient. The scissors just inside a tire. Well, that kind of takes care of that. Lord, they're going to make me cut her hair. Hope I don't mess it up. Interesting. Okay. Good job. Let's see. XS and AX 400 color select new hair color. Uh, what do you guys think? So we go with white. I think uh, I'm not going to say white because I feel like that would make you stand out make you stand out because you're relatively young with white hair that looks a little weird uh, I'm not gonna go with black because it's too close to her natural hair color uh, so we're gonna go with blonde how dope is that <laughs> uh, oh we also have some other options we have brown as well uh, but I think the blonde is best I think it it being shorter and blonde probably has the best chance of uh, of helping to disguise ourselves. Yeah, let's see. What would it. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Uh, oh, yeah, we gotta take that off. What exactly does that do? Well, we definitely look human now. That, I mean, well, we she looked human before, but. Um, 
she definitely looks she looks a lot different now i think it'll make it more difficult to um to distinguish her from uh who they're looking for we want to continue exploring ah always good reading material in this game all right cyber cyber wildlife so now we're doing android uh animals First Android Zoo open. Cyberlife is set to open the first Android Zoo in Los Angeles, which will exhibit all exo exotic species that have become extinct in the last 30 years. Uh, loot turtles, polar bears, mountain gorillas, African elephants, and several species of tiger will be among the most high-profile attractions. Cyberlife CSR spokeswoman Daniel Carnegie said the zoo uh, caters to people of all ages and has a special mission to educate and inspire the younger generation about the importance of protecting our fragile environment. Though some environments have claimed the zoo will diminish po uh, popular concern for the extinction of real animals, it's difficult not to be enthusiastic about technology being used to recreate vanished species. I agree with that. Uh, the animals themselves have yet to be unveiled, but Cyberlight promises that they will be more than the real thing. No doubt an ideal weekend trip for the family. Uh, I guess the only question I have about that is, you know, is always a question about the certainty of the animals following their programming. And the other thing is, too, is that they, they can't procreate. They can't reproduce. You know, so that's another question. But then I guess if you can just make an android, you can just, just make one. But they, but they, they would never grow, you know. You, you may be able to create a, um, uh, you know, a... a a, a young you know a baby bear or something like that but i don't think androids don't grow do they at least in this game i don't know okay uh canada is still an android free zone How about that despite the united states voting in this android act as early as 2028 the canadian parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit androids in the country as a result androids are still not sold in canada and have no official status in the country interesting with Androids continuing to fuel unprecedented growth in the U.S. economy, yet contributing to record levels of unemployment, the arguments for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on. But for the time being, Canada, Canada remains an Android-free zone. Mm. Always interesting reading with this game, man. You know, and, and I, it always seems to to give insight um, on perceptions that we may not otherwise know. All right, we're exploring the neighborhood. I'm just, I'm really hoping that us doing this is not. It's a cop. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it may not be such a great idea. Escape the district. Wake. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's probably the next thing to do. I'm glad because I, I didn't feel good about potentially leave, leaving her in this car and she couldn't see us and not know where we are. I, I didn't like that idea. Nice we could have found an umbrella. saw yesterday he gave me an address he said we could get help there the train passes just on the other side of the road the station can't be far you feel okay to walk a little let's go then this would be a lot easier if it wasn't raining and I say that because like she doesn't like Huh. You really look like a human now. Well, hopefully that's the way it'll be. Now, the only question is, if that cop sees us walk out of here, I hope that won't look won't look a little suspicious. Um, 
but we have no choice. Gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> gotta go. Alright, is he still over there? Oh, man. Alright. That's all for now. Here to go. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you going to do with that? I have no idea. Okay, we're going to do better this time, guys. We'll do better. I took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed hmm. by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Okay. Maybe. Not bad. Do they know that uh, that Alice is with with her? Reach train station. Sneak past the cops. Let's go this way. Okay, hold R2 to see threats to your destination. There's a cop there, so we need we need to cross the street. Or hide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's cross the street. Where are we? Why is it pointing? What is it pointing at? Oh, is it just giving us direction? There's more police officers. Crap. Really trying my best not to get us caught here, guys. They are not making this easy. Okay, we're gonna have to cross back over the street uh, to avoid this cop. So let's go over here. In the area. Oh man! Shit! That's them! Stop! Oh, messed up! Quick, call it in. We saw them headed for the train station. Oh, that's not fair. That is so not fair. <laughs> You're going to switch back to the lieutenant to make me chase him? Oh, I can't believe I messed that up, man. Jeez. They're over there. I, I kind of don't want to catch him, you know? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Shoot, we need it alive! Whoa, now this, this isn't dangerous at all. Oh, fuck. That's insane. What? How am I going to cross? I can't even see. Man. Woo, man. Hold on, hold on. Let's go, let's go. Oh, woo. Hey, where are you going? I can't let them get away. They won't. They'll never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do not go after him, Connor. That's an order. Ugh. See, I, 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 I'm trying to build a rapport with him, man. So I have to, I have to 
not be disagreeable with him. At least not right now. Oh, Jesus. I got you. I got you. Man, this game is too stressful. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my goodness. Okay? <sighs> Man, this is too much. <laughs> this is too much. not happy about that oh man I can't believe well we did get to, we did get away I just I really hate that I, I messed up that one time that prevented us from getting on uh, on the train ah man that sucked because uh, I could have done a whole di I could have we couldn't got we could have gotten on the uh, on the train and been gone but in any case uh, we, I guess we achieved what we only we could, and I guess that's the the thing I like about this game, man. Like you don't, there there are there are no second chances. You don't get to go back and redo anything. You you have to go with whatever decision you made. Um, in this case, because I failed to get that umbrella out quick enough, it completely changed the the course of events. But anyway, so yeah, man, I'm loving this game, man. You can rest assured it's gonna be. Uh, several videos recorded today and uploaded soon. Uh, so, yeah, this is Morph. Talk to you guys later. Love you. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe, like. Man, we'll be back.